We continue now at the top of Daf Membez Omen Aleph and Mesechus Erevin. This is Erevin Daf 42a. Rav Papa had just said that if you have peros that leave the Tchum and they're brought back to the Tchum, even if they're brought back Memezid, they get back their original Tchum. And the Gemara now is in the middle of quoting a Brisa to try to prove uh, that one of the Tanoim, at least in this Brisa, agrees with Rav, with Rav Papa that that is the case. So the Brisa here continues. Rabbi Nechemia Omer, the Brisa says that Rabbi Nechemia's opinion is, If they're in their original place, they can be eaten. If they're not in their original place, they cannot be eaten. Again, this is talking about fruit that were originally taken out of their tchum. So the Gemara says, My What does Rabbi Nechemya mean over here when he says that if they're brought back to their original place, they can be eaten? If he means to say that even if they're brought back on purpose to their original place, they can still be eaten and they still they get back their original tchum. But we learned explicitly, Rabbi Nechemya and Rabbi Eliezer ben Yaakov Omrim. This was on the previous Amr. Rabbi Nechemya and Rabbi Eliezer ben Yaakov said, The fruit is asur unless it's returned to its place by mistake. Which means it has to be returned by mistake, and it cannot be returned on purpose. So we need to understand what Reb Nechemia is saying back to the Tanakam in this Brisa. So the Gemara says, Obviously Reb Nechemia means that if they return to their original place, then they can be eaten. And there are words missing in the Brisa, and here's how the Brisa should properly read. Let's say you have peros that leave the tchum. If it leaves by mistake, they can still be eaten. If it leaves the tchum on purpose, they cannot be eaten. That's only true when they're no longer in their original place. But if they're brought back to their original place, even if they're brought back on purpose, they can be eaten. And that reading would be in accordance with Rav Papa. Rav Papa would be consistent with this Tanakam and the Brisa. And then Rav Nechemia comes and says, no, even in their original place, only if they return to their original place, if they return, it's no good. So the Gemara says, maybe that's not how to read the Brisa. Lo, no, it could be, you don't read the Brisa that way. It could be, read it as follows. It could be that if it's Bemezid in its original place, it is a problem. Anytime you do, you take it Bemezid, you bring it back to where its original place Bemezid, it's going to be a problem. And maybe the Machlokas and the Brisa between the Tanakam and Reb Nechemia is specifically talking about when it's not in its original place, but it was brought there. Bishogeg. Tanakama Savar Bishogeg Shari Shalobim Mekoman. The Tanakama is saying that if it's taken out of the Tchum Bishogeg, it's still going to be permitted. Reb Nechemia Savar Afilu Shogeg. Reb Nechemia says no, even if it was a mistake, Vemekoman in Shalobim Mekoman Lo. Only if it's in the proper place, otherwise it's no good. But the Gemara does not like this reading and prefers the original reading. Vahamidiktani Seifa, because if you look at the Seifa, it says the way that it's phrased is as follows. Rabbi Nechemya and Rabbi Eliezer ben Yaakov Omrim, Rabbi Nechemya and Rabbi Eliezer ben Yaakov say, Liola Masurin, it's always Asur, Ad Sheyachzur Lemekoman Shogagin, unless it returns to its original place and its Beshogeg, which implies Shogeg in Bemezid Lo. That implies that in the original place, Beshogeg and not Bemezid, Michlal, which also implies the Tanakama Savar, Bemezid Nami Shari, that the Tanakama holds, even if it's returned to its original place, Bemezid, it is permitted, Shmami No. We can see from this again that this is consistent with Repuppa. The Tanakam, at least, is consistent with, with Repuppa. Rashi here explains what the Seifa, why is the Seifa imply uh, this particular reading? So the Gemara says, from the fact that the way that Ibn Nechemya phrases it is it's always usr, that implies that there's a double machlokas going on. And the Tanakama allows not only uh, in, a, in a situation of Shalom B'mekoman, which Ibn Nechemya doesn't allow, he also allows B'mezid B'mekoman. Because if there was just one leniency that the Tanakama had, for Ibn Nechemya Ba'ahu Hu Depalik, and Ibn Nechemya was only arguing on this one leniency, it should have said in the same way that Ibn Nechemya phrased it in their first prize that we quoted on the previous Zalmud, it should have simply said, in their place it could be eaten, not in their place they cannot be eaten. And I would know that the Tanakama permitted Bishogeg Shalobim Akoman, and Ibn Nechemya is coming along and saying, that which that one leniency which you permitted, Bishogeg Shalobim Akoman, I don't agree with. Shogeg is only permitted the original tchum, not outside the, the original tchum. 
From the fact that Rabbi Nehemia says it's always usher until it's returned to its, to its original place, Beshogeg. You see that the Tanakhama actually had two leniencies that Rabbi Nehemia was disagreeing with. And what are the two leniencies? The Tanakhama says it's fine if it's outside its tchum, but it was brought there, Beshogeg. Or even if it's in the or even if it was brought by Mazid, but it's in the original tchum. As long as you have one thing that's allowing one thing uh, in a lenient position towards the leniency, that's good enough. You either have it shalom b'mekomon, or you can have it b'mekomon. You can either have it sorry b'shogeg, that's a leniency, or you could have it b'mekomon. The kamer of Nechem Yeliolam Asher Ma'adi Katarti. Nechem says no. You need both uh, both items for it, for us to be lenient. Tarti Lateira. You need two mutter svaras shogeg uva mekomon. You need it to be b'shogeg and b'mekomon. Well, Yeliolam Tanoihi, and it really is a machlokas Tanoim. This issue of of Rav Papa and uh, and Rav Papa again is going to agree with the uh, with the Tanakama. Gemara now continues at the two dots. Amar Rav Nachman, Amar Shmuel. Rav Nachman says in the name of Shmuel. A person is walking for any day at Tchum Shabbos. He doesn't know where his Tchum of Shabbos ends. Mahalich al payim psios beinonios. He can walk two thousand medium-sized steps. Every step that a person takes, that's a regular step, is about an amma. He gets 2,000 ammas. V'zuhi t'chom Shabbos. This is this person's t'chom Shabbos. V'yom Rav Nachman Amar Shmuel, and Rav Nachman says in the name of Shmuel, Shavas bebikov hi kifua nachrem mechitza. Let's say a person is, uh, he makes his shvisa, he makes his makam shvisa, his residence is going to be in an open area, in, in a valley, and then the the non-Jews come and they put up walls b'Shabbos. They build walls around where he is on Shabbos. So the halacha is, according to Shmuel, mahalech al Amma, he can walk 2,000 amos, meaning he does not get the entire enclosed area. He still gets 2,000 amos from his residence because in order to get the entire enclosed area as your tchum, and then from the enclosed area 2,000 amos, meaning the entire enclosed area will count as your dalad amos, in order to get that, you need to have the mechitzas up of this. You need to be in an area surrounded by mechitzas before Shabbos. So the walls don't help for that purpose. However, this guy can carry in the entire area. The walls do help to make the area Rosh and you can and you can carry in the entire area through zrika. The reason why it says through zrika, through throwing, is because you obviously can't carry in the whole area walking because you can't walk the whole area. If the area is more than 2,000 amos that was enclosed, he only has a tchum of 2,000 amos. So he can't necessarily walk the entire enclosed area, but he could carry in the whole enclosed area by throwing outside of his 2,000 amos. Rav Huna, Amar Rav Huna says, Mahalich al-Payim amos, same idea in terms of walking. He gets to walk 2,000 amos. Umetaltel dalit amos, but he can only carry dalit amos. We do not allow him to carry in the entire enclosed area through Zerika, Rav Huna is stricter than Shmuel in this regard. So the Gemara says, "Venetalta bekul al yedei Zerika." So one second, why why not agree with Shmuel? Why not say he can carry in the whole area and use Zerika? Gemara says, "No, shemayim shachachar cheftzo." So that, that we're afraid that if he throws it outside of his 2,000 amos, he might follow his item and he'll end up walking outside of his tchum. So we're not going to allow him to throw outside of his tchum. But the Gemara still says, still, Rav Hun is much more strict than he needs to be. Let him at least carry within his 2,000 amos in a normal manner. He's allowed to walk that area, the area surrounded by mechitzas. Let him carry. So the Gemara says, Because it is as though it's a mechitza that has been uh, breached. A wall fell down and is completely open to an area that's austere. Meaning in this case, there was no wall that fell down. But in this particular case, if you're going to say he can only carry within 2,000 amos from his Makam Shvisa, the, the area outside is 2,000 amos is completely open. There's no walls there. And we're saying he can't carry a step beyond. That's already totally open to an area he can't carry. That's why Rav Huna is strict. Now, Chia Barav, Amar Chia Barav says, Mahalik al Payamama, he can walk 2,000 amos like the other Amoroim, Umetal Tel Bial Payamama, and he is allowed to carry within his 2,000 amos. He seems to have this medium or this middle position. But the Gemara doesn't like it. The Gemara says, Keman, the Lokar of Nachman, Velokar of Huna. This is uh, is not like Rav Nachman and not like Rav Huna. The Gemara is not asking that how could he argue with Rav Nachman and Rav Huna. The Gemara is saying the logic, you have to have logic one way or the other. Either you should say you can carry in the entire area, or you should say you're not allowed to carry 
at all, or you can only carry Dalit Amos. You should not be able to say that you can carry 2,000 Amos, and it's Nifrutz, and that's not a problem. The fact that it's open to an area that's also is not a problem. So the Gemara says, you're right, Ema Metaltel Ba'arba. You have to say that what he really meant was you can only carry Arba Amos, really his strict like Ravuna. Gemara says, Yachi Haino de Ravuna. If that's the case, isn't he saying the same thing as Ravuna? Ema, so you have to say, Vechain Omar Ravchia Barav. Likewise, Ravchia Barav says, like Ravuna. Now Rav Nachman says to Rav Huna, Lo siflo Shmuel. Do not argue with Shmuel. Don't be stricter than Shmuel. Detanya kivase, because there's a brisa like Shmuel. Detanya, because we learned in a brisa, and we'll continue this discussion in the next video on Daf Membeis Amid Beis.